Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is my first ever solo movie reaction and I am watching Night at the Roxbury? Roxbury? Roxbury. <laughs> I have no idea what this movie's about. I know Will Ferrell is in it and that's about it. I know it's a comedy. I wanted something funny for my first movie reaction. I have done solo reactions on our Patreon before. I did it for the first season of Daredevil, if you're interested in that. But this is gonna be kind of fun, a little different, to do a whole movie reaction by myself. Let me know if you enjoy it. Let me know what other movies you want to see me watch. I've watched a lot of movies, but there are so many out there I still have not seen. A lot of them Anthony's seen, but I haven't. So this might be a fun way to kind of put more movie reactions onto the channel with me doing doing solo reactions. Oh, anyways, you guys want to make out? Or oh my gosh, y'all have no game. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're gonna crash. <laughs> four months of work. Did you say four months of work? Like y'all practice that? Have a good night. It's already been good now that you served and protected me. You got her badge number, plus a month from now, you got a date to meet oh her my in the municipal God. state court. <gasps> you know what we're going to do when we get our own club? Get in? Yeah, but we're also going to treat all the outside wannabes just as well so as they want to have their own club. Star. Well, now I hope they do it by the end of the movie. I'm rooting for you and your dream. <laughs> Okay, his bed sheets though are like straight fire. I like animal print. I don't even care. Oh, does do people even like those? I think they're red vines or Twizzlers. They're like the scam of a candy in my opinion. It's like plastic with a hint of flavor. Ew, he ate it. Ugh. Gross. Ugh, don't just take it out. <laughs> It's a health shake. It helps me balance my insulin and hormone levels so I can hit my physical peak. Barbara, hurry, get the video camera. He's gonna hit his peak. Honey, if you're <laughs> gonna hit your peak, do it in your room. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh. <laughs> I wish I had a sibling that would just like do everything I like doing and dress like me. I'm an only child, so you know, only child syndrome. My gosh, they're so freaking women obsessed. Hey, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure this is your card? Because it's not processing. <laughs> what did you it's do? It's my card. Okay, I'm gonna have to call it that. <gasps> What's the purpose of that? I feel like you're just making more work for yourself. Operator 238, please. Authorization card number. What's up? Or he wants to call her. <laughs> what? Steve! Hi, Steve. Hey, Doug. Hey, Emily. Hey. Whatever. <laughs> Why do you got sass for Emily? I remember before I went to school, you said that when I came back from school that we could get together. Then I kept thinking about it, and thank God it was over now so we could get together. Why is he just like so, do you throwing these flowers? You're disrespecting the flowers. Oh, no! Not only that, we could just take a drive around and make out. I oh, love whoa. making out. It's like one of my yeah. all-time favorite things to do right. in the white world. Yeah. So like when a girl's actually showing interest, you don't care? You just want the ones who like have nothing to do with you? You know Steve here, he likes you very much. Dad, come on! <laughs> Hey, Mr. Butabi! Hey, Mr. Sanderson! <laughs> Mr. Butabi, is uh, Steve <laughs> asking Emily to marry him again? <laughs> More like the other way around. You see this wall? After they get married, we're gonna knock it down, combine stores, and have the first plant lamb shop. And Steve and Emily are gonna- You can call it plamp. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry to come down to you like this, but in a weird way, it's my job. Hey, that's why we love you. 
and we hate you. Still friends? You know it. Okay. Did anybody ask you for your advice, sir? Hey, oh my gosh. And they don't even follow through. These Andersons are here to see your mother's new chin. Get dressed and come join us. Okay. Sorry, Dad, we're a little busy tonight. Nice to see you folks. Later. They have to get into the Roxbury. Oh. It's really, really sexy. And I don't mean to brag, but I have really good taste in what's sexy. Thanks, Emily. Steve! I mean, whatever, Emily. Maybe he does like Emily a little bit. I don't know. I feel like that hairstyle is back in right now. Like all over TikTok. That and the mullet. The bowl cut kind of thing with like the half. It's middle part and the mullet. <laughs> Was that just tape? This is not gonna work. Way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your words sure would mean a lot. What kind of little get together is this like? Well, you know, in case of emergency. Come on, get lipstick on me. Yeah, but it looks like you were making out. I feel like it's a common theme and well, I don't know, I guess Step Brothers is the only one I could think of in Will Ferrell movies where they like are older, like older than mid-30s and still act like kids and live at home. <laughs> I can't taste it, Doug, I can't! I'm so scared right now, I don't know what to do. Okay, you're mad cowing on me, all right? You have to relax. You're I'm mad cowing on me? We put all this <laughs> I don't know, so funny to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Remember that television show about Africa? Yeah. They sent the boy into the jungle with nothing but a spear to hunt the lion. This van is our spear, and that Roxbury is our lion. How does that even make any sense? And look who else we got. Uh, Roosevelt? <laughs> Roosevelt? And Jefferson. <laughs> Change. <laughs> Hello, that's it. That was a card store. There's one. Oh. No, that's just Weight Watchers. ATM. That's it. No, that's. <gasps> oh gosh. This is why you always wear your seatbelt. That was me. No, this car is a racing car. It's illegal. All I need is a police report. <sighs> Maybe he can get them into the Roxbury in exchange for no cops. You remember we saw you last night at the Roxbury? Yeah, we were outside. Right, right. So, uh, well, we were just gonna go to the Roxbury again. But we couldn't get in. Well, hey guys, do you want me yeah, to get There we go. <laughs> well, y'all we got in. So now what? Is it all you ever dreamed of and more? Hello, guys. This is Mr. Zadir. He owns the place. Uh, these are uh, Doug Butabi. Team Butabi. You look like good boys. Oh, come to my VIP table. So they just like got in and now are VIPs. See, it's all who you know. That's all that it is in life is who you know. So is uh, Johnny Depp meeting you here or what? You know, I've never seen the original 21 Jump Street. Maybe I should react to that. Maybe that could be one of my solo reactions. Proficient club hopper, so we know what we're talking about. I mean, we usually go to this place called the Mud Club, and that place is rank. They'll let any ass wad in the door. I own that place also. Oh my gosh, that's really awkward. That's to do. One day you're hot, the next day you're not. <laughs> I had an idea for a club. They, Wait, uh, is this guy gonna actually like let them? No. Dude, that joke is not funny anymore. The outside is the inside, and the inside is the outside. Doesn't that blow your mind? What about that guy? I feel like it was cool when like the, the waiting part could have had stuff because it's like the club before the club, but the street inside the club is where they lost me. What's up? You want to dance? Yes. All right, take it easy. Said yes. What? <laughs> They're not used to getting like said yes to. <laughs> Why did they do that? <laughs> I feel like the dancing. 
thing is like some of the funniest parts of this movie. Well, I give up, you nasty little card swiper. The Roxbury with Richard Grieco. You gotta come out sometime. Well, I would, but then, you know, there'd be no one here to approve. Do you work all day long? Like, you don't get any time off? That's <sighs> mango. All right. This Italian food tastes so good. Like, Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Italian food tastes good like Mexican? Come over here. Vivica, you know what I heard when I first met you? What? <laughs> what? Do you like blueberries or strawberries? I want to know what kind of pancakes to order you in the morning. Why are those the only two options? What about chocolate chip? Made in heaven. Doug, you've gotten past the opening lines. They, like, have never gotten this far, so they don't know what to do. And Doug was going crazy. Oh, what is and Steve was like, Amelia! Why are they still talking? Oh, oh my gosh, these guys. I feel like a selfish pig just going on and on about oh myself. Oh my gosh, what, about what you? is going on? Where are you from? Are you brothers and sisters? Do you have any family? Uh, pet? That is totally not what I thought was happening right now. Why don't y'all stop talking? Is this your first time? What? Are you serious? Oh, my. Um, you're hilarious! <laughs> Oh man, you're funny! Oh my gosh. Is that why they're being so awkward? 40 Oh my god! I just, I just, I just, it's unbelievable! Oh man! I mean, y'all did more than get a number. You're always telling us to do something with our lives, and when we finally do, you gotta put us down. You never support us, and you never care about what's important to us. You don't even work! No more clubs! What? what? Yes! Your life is retail. Go clean the stuff. They're like grown adult men. <laughs> y'all need to move out. We're gonna make it without you, Padre. Yo! See? Yes, I'll see when you come home tonight begging for food and shelter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to take a rain check on this convo. Steve, car! Nice bulbs, Emily. <laughs> just give me a call or call me later if you want to go out or just call me Don't anywhere. run in the street, Emily! <laughs> <laughs> the what is love elevator version? <laughs> you notice we forgot to ask her something? You mean what's up? Yeah, that's weird. Actually, it's not. We're both in very serious relationships right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, very serious? <laughs> what? And nobody gets in without an appointment. We have Your a names meeting. are not on my list. Why is he so obsessed with people grabbing his ass? Billy! Yeah! yeah. Up top! Main man! Woo! Ranger party last night! Remember the yeah. whippets? Is that what my mother told you? Oh, you heard everything! Dewey, what's going on out here? Just a couple of trespassers, sir. Did you find the voice from last night? Oh, I he did care! I haven't been able to locate them yet, but don't worry, sir. <gasps> so it's you! The ladies await my friend, Cell. Fascinating. So you do travel to places other than Japan. They're like, on to the next. <laughs> Who is it? I don't know. Just a bunch of pound signs. I don't know if you're doing it right. Oh, what? You guys want to hang out or do what we did last night or, or eat and uh, do what we did last night? Sounds good. OK. Wait till they find out that they don't have any money. <laughs> Where's your car? <laughs> Our dad got mad, took it away. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we used to work for him, but we quit today. So actually we're unemployed, all right? Yeah. Oh no, you know, <laughs> they're gonna like business. turn around and walk away. You guys are a big waste of time. Coma what? Steve, you're a jerk off. Well, I'm glad you shared that with me. It's a big step for both of us. Oh yeah. <laughs> Your 
father. I don't care. You care about this? Huh? <laughs> you, want that? you want the real no. thing? Huh? Do you want to? You're not talking to me. Fine. My right. pleasure. No. <laughs> have a really nice house so it seems like the family has money you should take a lesson you went after those kids because you wanted to kiss the rico <laughs> no. he's here by himself but it's not the same it'll never be the same Last forever because they're still they'll never die. Okay, <laughs> not good looking. <laughs> Squeeze, you can feel it right here. Squeeze, yes. Come on. Why did she go in through there? I know you've had your heart set on this for a long time, but I just got out of this very serious relationship, and it's gonna take some time. Your to relationship was like a day. Wounds. And that could take like and 42 until... seconds. <laughs> Your dad got us tickets to see David Copperfield this Saturday night. Oh, it's going to be so much fun to see things appear and then disappear. Oh my gosh. So do you like her or not? Or was it just your brother influencing you not to? Machines are Doug's thing. I'm more of a people person. Steve. A businessman must have knowledge of computers. Oh, she's trying to get him another another job. Don't upset me, Steve. Unless you want to make me less horny. No, that wouldn't be good. She's crazy. <laughs> Here's what we do. First, we combine the stores, okay? And then we can add the furniture, you know? And uh, sofa beds and... Uh... Chairs. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? You're moving way too fast. You're, you're talking like we're married. Oh, Steve. You just made me so happy. Did she just, like, take that as a proposal? Oh, no. No, it's... It's just that... I don't... Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> So y'all haven't talked at all, even though you live in the same house? I want to make a toast to Steve and Emily, who after tomorrow will be Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Butubby. The brother needs to come in and stop the wedding. Jeff? Yes. Jeff. Is, is there like any way we can cancel this whole thing? Yes. <laughs> no. Well, you need to call it off yourself then. You know when she's sleeping, she makes that nose whistle sound and you, you shake her to make her be quiet? But what you'd really like to do is take her stupid little red toothbrush and ram it up her nostril into her skull? There's a lot of pent-up anger in there. Y'all should not be getting married. Did he just say those are perfectly normal feelings? Oh no. <sighs> I'm in our room still, across from the pool. See ya. Quickly, like how much time has passed? Because this has not been a lot of time to plan a whole wedding like this. You're the best man, not the wedding bouncer. You just gotta back me up. Like Doug's gonna come in here when they're like, does anybody have any objections? And he's gonna be like, I object. We're ready, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> so I mean, do you want your kids blessed or not? It's up to you. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> you know, Steve. I, uh, I'm not sure. He's still here, like in the wedding party. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> she like has the crazy eyes. Emily, I used to see you outside my father's store, and then we went on some dates, and you let me have sex with you. Hmm. <laughs> 
And that's if literally your entire relationship. there is anyone who has reason to believe that this man or this woman Come on, should not be joined together in holy matrimony, let them speak now. No, stop that on your own wedding. See, What's this up? is why you shouldn't be getting married. Oh, oh. From out of town? Oh my gosh, what the heck? And the bridesmaid, it's your wedding. You want to wait until after the ceremony, please? This dad? Emily, do you promise to love Stephen in sickness and health for as long as you both shall live? I do. Stephen, repeat after me. After me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> With this ring, <clears throat> I, I thee wed. Now, Emily. With this ring. Oh, the song! Going. Let's go. You want to get paid? Yo, idiot. Oh. You're running the will. That I can tell you. No. <laughs> run away. Run away from this wedding. Don't marry her. Go make your nightclub. Hey, uh, uh, sorry. I'm not ready yet. What's it going? Steve, stop. Nice poem, though. No. <laughs> As an actor, I'm a keen observer of human nature. And I can tell you that your son is not ready for this sort of thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, thank you for your insight, I guess. Well, go make your nightclub now. Go ahead, father. What? What? Like, he's just gonna marry her right here, right now? I've always loved you. <gasps> wow. Okay. She's gonna do it. We should look into infomercials. Okay. Oh, gosh, she's just like on to the next. You don't drag me down. Oh, well, that's really I drag sweet. Me down. Hey, this movie kind of got a little deep for a second. You completely. Kind of. A little deep. Uh, well, I'm glad y'all made up and are bros again. Bros before homes and all. Oh my god, is that an outside nightclub? No way, that's your idea! Oh, they <laughs> And is the inside a street? No. No one gets in unless they talk to the list. We're on the list. Steve and Doug, who talk? They stole their intellectual property. Oh, step right in. Oh, they're on the list! They're on the list for once! Imagine just being on the list. Like they stole your idea. I know. It's a street. <laughs> it's totally the idea. Okay, it's actually pretty cool now that I see it firsthand. I've been looking all over for you. Come in. Get over here. Sit here. Sit here. How do you like our club? Our club? He said our. Yeah, who wants to haul it? This is here. You would just call from Pismo Beach. He says there's no way he could have grabbed your ass. What is it up to now? I just told you. Oh my god! Oh my god! Now y'all got a club! Put a couple cherries in there. Nice boss. Hello, Mr. Vitabi. <laughs> hey, Mr. Vitabi, can you prove this? Right. Yes. Wow, look at y'all. He has like Spock eyebrows. How's the hair? Good. Successful club owner good? Absolutely. How are these? Nice? Oh, that voice sounds so Oh, it's the girl. So they never met, it was only ever over the phone? More beautiful than you sound. What is it? I totally approve. Oh, <laughs> Well, that was pretty cute. What is love? It's bend and snap. Do you guys want to uh, dance? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, they're perfect for each other. Look at that. <laughs> that was a really random and fun movie. <laughs> okay, so that was a pretty fun movie. I feel like that's the best way to describe it. It was just fun. Um, a good time. I still think there are several Will Ferrell movies that I do like better than that. Step Brothers being one um, I think of like off the top of my head. There's another one too, but I can't remember the name of it. But this was still good. Uh, it was just like funny, fun concept. Nothing too serious. Um, it had some pretty good funny moments and like funny jokes like that too. The soundtrack was cool. And it's funny because the whole time they just wanted a nightclub and they just were kind of low lowlifes and they kept messing things up. Um, and then somehow they stumbled their way into owning a nightclub. <laughs> 
funny how that worked out. I feel like this might have been the oldest Will Ferrell movie I've ever seen. But I'm not sure, but I think so. This is definitely, I think he looked the youngest in of any movie I've seen. So it was cool to see, you know, some of his older movies and then just kind of compare it to... Oh, you know what it is? Talladega Nights. I love that one. That's the one I think I'm thinking of. But I definitely had a fun time watching it. It went by really fast. It was pretty short. I think it was only like an hour and 20 minutes or so. So that was pretty quick. But I think it was like the perfect length, you know? Sometimes with comedies, I feel like they can't go too long or else it starts to kind of lose its momentum. This was like the perfect length for this story. Well, let me know down in the comments below what other movies I should watch in my solo reactions. I'm open to any genre. I'm you know, just ready to see a whole bunch of different movies that I've never seen before, stuff that I've always wanted to, and yeah, I'm really excited about this. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.